Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to TNO, the last days of Europe. I'm your host, Welsh Mocha Lover. And right now, we're looking at Cardiff and how, honestly, kind of our army is looking. Not looking great, but we should do another focus. I asked you guys yesterday whether we should do compromise with our members or Welsh corporatism, as well as that's enough or never ending revolution. Now, there's support for both sides, but the side that has the most influence from the amount of likes those comments got include that's enough. As much as I'd love to do Never Ending Revolution, maybe again someday, but at least for this campaign. And it looks like actually there might have been something over here as well, because there's a little dot over there, but that's enough. The National Revolution has been, has been concluded. We are sitting atop one of the greatest victories against the English since the Germans landed at Dover, and it's possibly the greatest victory in several hundred years, not inflicted by pure power. The Mob Y Darogam has led our nation's purification with unrivaled grace. Wales is for the Welsh and... No one else. When in hundreds of years our descendants look upon these days, they will know. It was a time of struggle which we won. A struggle which we freed them, freed them, which freed them from the oppression of the English. A national revolution of true patriotic Welsh men that succeeded because it was the right. But now the revolution is done. Let us emerge from the fire. Strengthened. Cool. And there was another comment saying that, uh, be careful. England will attack in 1966. So, I mean, I'll be as ready as I possibly can. There's not much we can really do. We can run some dockyards. Wow, how do we get this much political power back again? Wait, hold on. Holy cow! Because uh, yesterday we spent all of it on this stuff, didn't we? I don't know. All I know is that I split up, or after we did that... Did I split up things? No, I didn't split up anything. Um, did we get the dock... No, we don't get the dockyards, huh? Okay, I just loaded up the game, like... As per normal, but... Okay, we've got that much political power. Sure, why not? <clears throat> That's enough. The moderates of Plaid. Well, we are going to go with compromise with our members because that was also what was recommended. So, more stability. Let's we'll see what happens. The FWA has been a party, an organization dedicated to the total liberation of Wales from English imperialism. It is somewhat up and surprising, then, that not an insignificant portion of our membership is somewhat, if not outright, left-leaning politically. The Y Mob Daryl Gan himself might not believe too strongly in the calls for workers' liberation, but that's not to say about that a compromise cannot be worked out. If we appreciate the FWA as a broad coalition rather than a purely nationalist org organization, it might aid our perception that the Welsh people and assure them that accusations of petty despotry and fascism are utterly false and fabricated lies. That said, this course of action might prove concerning to some of the more business-like elements of the FWA. So do we get the dockyard or not? <clears throat> and I just realized, it says Navy time. I'm not going to say it needs more, but maybe in the future, and I know Wales isn't the most demanding nation for the devs, but maybe... Maybe just a slight cleanup of a few things. I don't know. Because sometimes the language isn't quite correct, even like for English stuff. It's not bad. Uh, I'm not saying it's bad at all, but it's just... It seems a little odd. <clears throat> Maybe they'll improve well later. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Actually, we currently have a rate of 25. Anything else? 37 and a half. Too bad we can't get more army professionalism. Expertise is 34 and a half. After we compromise with our members, we'll go ahead and do... Supporting the Welsh workers. England has always exploited Wales. Those Welsh miners who died in poorly built tunnels for the Industrial Revolution. Welsh soldiers who died in their imperialist wars. And Welsh people who saw no care from the state for their sacrifices. But the Y Mob Darrow Gun is a kind of liberator and seeks to challenge the realities of Welsh life to better fit our great people. A minimum wage won't prevent the Welsh worker from being exploited by the cruel and adventurous foreign businessmen. Safety regulations will prevent needless deaths in the mines. Pensions shall give relief to those who sacrificed their health for the glory of Cymru. Always the Y Mob Darrow Gun cares for the for those who he liberated, and all Wales will know it. Alright, let's be rejected one more time. And, we get a little bit less max factors in the state. How did I know it was going to fail? How did I know? What's going on? The Black League unifies Western Siberia. Oh, sounds like a lot of fun. Ominous. Leftist FWA members. The Free Wales Army has always had been 
always has been a diverse organization politically. And that's been part of the attraction, after all, with all the goal of Wall Street taking pre precedence over economic or organizational concerns. Yet, yeah. as the Free Wells Army became a part of government, there's been an increasing class between the sort of wings between social democrats, conservatives, and fascists who all might have believed in the Free Wells but disagreed on what those two words meant. The white mob Darrow got on always listened, waited, and then acted swiftly without and without hesitation. Several trade union leaders affiliated with the FWA were summoned to Cardiff, along with them a host of more protectionist or socialist leaning FWA members from across the nation who and as they sat in Julian K.O. Evans' office, it became apparent that he was not there. Or who was not there? The church, the businessman, and the ardent fascists were mysteriously absent from the meeting. When the men left the office not a few hours later, a plan had been drawn out, negotiated, and finalized. Pensions for the Walsh, national ownership of several industries, and the state working with rather than against the trade unions. K.O. Evans had chosen a side, and the rest of the party would have to fall in line. A wise choice. More political power? Not really needed. I just want more uh, war support. That'd be kind of nice. And we got some more of this, which is good. Um, we've pretty much got caught up in terms of military or infantry uh, improvements, we'll call that. Infantry improvements. There's only so much you can improve, I guess. So, state led unions or trade unions? The trade unions are a vital aspect of Welsh life, often having been one of the few things keeping the English imperialists from exploiting Wales beyond the brink. As why Mob Darogan works with the leftist elements of the party, it only makes sense to incorporate the trade unions into the fabric of the new Wales. State-led trade unions will find none of the hassle they previously had to endure, and this will act as representatives for workers which will drive our economy to the government. Working with the trade unions has the added benefit of taking institutions the vast majority of the populace support and linking them to our political policies. They will legitimize our regime with many Welshmen who might otherwise be skeptical. Which would be a good thing for us, and Indonesia's defeated free Indonesia. Very good. You know what's not very good? Our military right now. Woo! I'm not going to slash it. If anything, once they start attacking, I'm going to spend more and more and more and more and more money. So. And did we ever form a little union with everybody? Uh, so there's another... Nope, we did not. That sucks. Uh, Germany, can you help us out, please? We would greatly appreciate it. We love you, Germany. <laughs> That's why we didn't go with coal. <laughs> but, um... It'd be cool if we could have formed a faction. Actually, it would have been really cool. Uh, internal affairs? Why not? But the portion of the National Revolution coming to a close now falls upon the office of why Mob Darogan to choose how we address our political concerns. Our enemies may be defeated for the most part, but this does not mean that they are all gone altogether. Just as some foes lurk within the shadows, so too will some allies remain upon the sidelines. If it falls to Kyle Evans now to decide what our charter course will be. That's another comment saying that this is this is a very cursed timeline. And other people are like, yeah, let's do it again. And I'm like, okay, cool, whatever, you know. I'm not Welsh at all. I'm 0% Welsh. So... But I figured you might as well play as a Welsh just because it seems kind of interesting. I don't think that many people do it. Hey, look, we can do this again to fail. Hey, better weapons. Good, good, good. Hmm, it's 66, so can't do that. I guess we get some better anti tank. If rocket artillery? Yes. Artillery assisted rockets. Cool. Even more. Thank you very much. And it failed again. Did it, it? And we got four manpower, not bad. Not bad at all. And only half deficit of half a billion. Civilian budget boost, keep spending. What are we even building? Of course it failed, why not? At this point, um, it'll be done in 69. This will be done in 67, so we might as well just keep trying to guess for that stuff. Internal affairs, and then we'll do a Welsh National Assembly. Um, minimize the clique's power. We'll do moderates of Plaid. Oh, and divine mandate. Plaid, come read, evolved from the champions of the Walsh nation into a band of corrupt thugs so blatantly self-serving that they lost the elections to the obvious traitors. There's a reason the Free Wells Army is capable of becoming so popular, uh, after all. They represent quite possibly the only real political power in Wales not under our direct control and now they agitate for a return of democracy. What was encouraged of them? What's well, encouraged them to choose now all the time to ask for this major concession is unknown, but we need to approach this problem carefully. Plaid has still supporters, and if we don't tread carefully, they can turn against us without turning, uh, stunning us rapidly. Stunning rapidity. Yeah. You know, Black Arms training would, wouldn't be bad if they actually worked. So. Can we get some more dockyards again? No, that's, that's literally just a drain. Maybe that's a little bug. I don't know. I have no idea. I know it's the next one going to be upgraded. It's already June, so we're already halfway through the year, so... Uh, please, please don't fight us next election. Well, uh, minimize the clique's power. 
Oh, I don't want to hurt Sir Billy Bozard anyways. Free Will's army is inherently divided into a variety of cliques. Those loyal to the opposition of li Mob Dyro Gun, those loyal to the idea that Julian Cow Evans speaks of, even though simply a part of our party out of opportunism. The continuing anarchy will not be allowed to go unimpeded. The Y Mob Dyro Gun will make it clear to the leaders of the sort of cliques that the personal five times within the party are acceptable, but also that they should be careful about acting too independently. They're useful only so long as they know who they answer to in the end. Should they forget this, we might need to start taking unfortunate measures. Get about a month left for that. That's good. That's good. Good, good. And it's still not looking very good. Mm, we got a few convoys. Uh, this is so disappointing to look at. Or so, so sad. All this political power and nothing to spend it on. Severe trading, huh? We get less alpha, which doesn't even matter. Oh, look at that. Welsh well, Assembly, authoritarian democracy. Despotism is the way to go, right? I mean, basically, we'll get despotism right back, so. Centralize Kaio's power? Why not? So, centralizing power around a single figure is a tricky business. First, you need to sideline everyone else with the power to stop you, and then you need to sell it to the greater public. But the Y Mob Daro God has not let his people wrong yet, and for many in a position of power, that is enough. Why risk attempting to stop Kyle Evans after all? Either he will succeed and all will be well, or he won't, and this opportunity will still be there at the end of the day. It might not hurt to extend this beyond the purely political scene as well. The judiciary has always been getting a bit uppity lately. Maybe they are in need of a reminder about how things work in this country. Four and a half billion, not bad. Two billion in debt? Of course it failed, because why wouldn't it? Keeping ourselves dominant. Uh, okay. And the cabinet? Holding wells together. Alright, not bad. Not bad. We can't, literally can't even make any equipment at all, though, which is just so disappointing. Even more soft attack? We're going to need as much as possible. Especially since, if I remember correctly, England has three research slots versus our one. So, yeah. <clears throat> Rex Hammer. Huh? An aristocrat and a gentleman. Alright, and then the Welsh National Assembly. The old system of Welsh government was corrupt and venal, serving the interests of the Unionist cause and the English imperialists, but this was by degeneration from its ancient roots, rather than any inherent problem with the true democratic ideals. A single man, even the Y-Mob Darogan, cannot hold all the power and it falls to Julian Kyle Evans to decide this, how this power should be distributed. He has chosen to form the Welsh National Assembly, a body with the power to pass laws, albeit with the Y-M Darogan having the right to veto. This will please some of those members of a party, and not loyal opposition with the attachments to democracy, and generally reflect well upon Kyle Evans. Well, actually, we lose quite a bit of political power from this one, huh? But we still get over two a day, so I'm not too worried about that. After that, improved anti tank. Now, good, even more anti tank, because we're going to need a lot of anti tank where we're going. And our land doctrine is not done. Oh. But then again, I mean, this is all for defense. I mean, it'll not give us any more boost, really, t too much. Civilian and military construction speed. Uh, I guess technically we could try to convert it, but that costs so much. But even minus 30% isn't bad. Hmm. Oh, that's done now. Cool. Well, let's grab some of that. Thank you. And we'll do the representatives. Being a member of the Welsh National Assembly is no small duty. It's a service to the people of Wales where a sacrifice for the greater good is not just expected, but also almost required. As a Y-Mob Darogan, Kyle Evans must be exceedingly careful about whom... St the appointments to this venerable office will be signed. Appointing flunkies is a certain appeal, of course, allowing a great deal of centralized power to build up around the position why Mob, why mob Darogan is risky but possibly worth it. Alternatively, Plaid Cymru still exists to an appreciable extent. Perhaps they might be willing to work with us in return for a seat at the table. Let's try guns this time and fail, probably. Oh, I actually have this too. It's not like we can actually make some, though. And we'll do the next election. After this. Welsh National Assembly, not bad. Cornerstone of new legislative process. Cool. The next technology will be done in less than a month. That's not too bad. And then after this one, holding whales together. Of course, order failed, because why not? Cymru's Gorosai? Gorosi? Hmm. In the cabinet. Well, it's almost, it's almost November, actually, so. The next election. Today, the applied Cymru leadership has approached the Y Mob Darogan, asking to appoint. Blank, whether he's likely to restore democracy in the near future to be specific elections. This was a bold move and a statement of applied Comrie's strength that they would do so they would do this so openly. 
But while Mob Dargon knows he would win any election called, yet in all likelihood, Plaid Cymru do not seek to change this so much as increase their own independency, independency to a government. Perhaps we should let them. Who knows what might happen if they decide to turn against us? The representatives. Part of the position of Y Mob Darogan is the ability to select a certain number of individuals for the seats in the National Assembly. Hence, a job currently following to Mr. Julian Kyle Evans. In this case, however, we must ask whom the seat shall go. In the one hand, we can simply take all the seats for the men of the Free Wells Army, and which is probably the easiest to see a solution, but luckily it costs them to send among their allies. We could throw in a few nominal independents who answer to us in reality, but that might not, be, might not fool everyone. And more to the points. And more to the point, some of them might get too big for the boots. Or if you don't secure the position, we can share the seats with the moderates, offer them a scrap from the table to keep them working with us nice and smooth. Despotism? Well, we are despots. Moderates? We need the seats? Um. Don't we, do we get some more daily despot uh, support, anyways? Oh, we'll do that one. We get more stability. There you go. It changed up. Oh, maybe not. I mean, 5% is not bad. Give them 5%. That's all I get. And that's way too ahead of time, so I guess we'll go back to the land auction then. Good luck. Ooh, experience industrial base, not bad. Looking a little better. Poverty is looking slightly better. And we're halfway through November. Wow. Actually, who's leading America? Is it Bennett? No, it's RFK. Oh, hello, RFK. Oh, you still have Jim Crow, huh? Okay, well, good luck with that. And the bald man is, well, he's doing stuff. The March East, huh? I still gotta play as Borman. I really need to play as Borman. Remains looking pretty nice. I think we'll see that they have a poker street someday, too. Mikhail? Looking kind of old there. Mikhail. Mikhail. Hey, new month. That means four more, more men in the military. Ooh. Alright, next up, in the cabinet. Plaid Cymru has worked with the Free Wells Army and the Y Mob Dargan quite well in recent times, leading some to wonder if they, perhaps they ought to be brought more directly into the fold. Cabinet positions have held not a significant, insignificant amount of influence in New Wales. More in fact, that many would give them the credit for, as it is they who are in charge of implementing the will of the Y, y, y Mob Dargan. Of course, we could choose to offer no such appointments, keeping things close to our chest, so to speak. But this is likely to alienate Plaid Cymru in a way that will not be easy to fix. The choice is up to the Y Mob Dargan, huh? Lift the election halt. Elections, troubling business elections are. If you hold them free and fair, you risk losing your grip on power, and that just won't do for any aspiring totalitarian state based upon nationalism and anti-imperialist dialogue. Which brings the Free Wells Army and the Y Mob Darrow guy into the decision of what to do about the proposal to allow elections to the National Assembly proper. Julian Kyle Evans might not be inclined against elections in and of himself, but the fact of the matter is that a loss or a worse, a doubt of victory could prove damaging to the international reputation of the nation. At the same time, however, not holding elections at all is a very dangerous business. It clues people into the fact that they don't have that much power in the decision-making process, and when that happens, people start to get uppity. <laughs> in the kind of way they're where governments fall and new powers rise up from the ashes. The Y Mob Darrow game might have left the people's might have the people's support for now, but that is not guaranteed to last in such circumstances. The moderates back elections, the hardliners do not. It falls to Julian Kyle Evans to decide the fate of Wells once more. Elections will be held in the unknown future. We don't need elections. Um we'll go with elections it for now. Just because why not? It gets ten percent, ten percent's not bad, we can still control ten percent, right? But anything beyond ten percent is big ol' NO. Cost it, huh? Oh wow, he really hurts us. Okay. Oh Wayne Williams. And George Taylor, huh? Alright, alright. Black market is available, is it really? If I do support equipment, I have a feeling I might get it, but you know what? I'm not gonna do that. We'll just fail like normal. Yep. <clears throat> holding whales together. When something hangs by a thread, people tend to notice it, and in the case of whales, it is not just our own people who realize that the entire nation survives only so as long as Julian Kyle Evans does. The unfortunate fact that for some who seek powers, that the Y Mob Darogan has so completely made himself the linchpin of the Welsh state, that there exists no one who could realistically succeed him. Redundancy is at an all-time low, and no one knows what happens if the son of destiny were to die on the morrow. Luckily, that is quite unlikely, as Kyle Evans is a few fair years ahead of him. Moderates in the cabinet. As Julian Kyle Evans sat in his office, he needs to solve a problem. Namely, who should constitute his cabinet? Free Welsh army men and the supporters would have to fill out the majority, of course, but there are some of the moderates who looked like they were willing to assist in governing Wales the right way as well. Giving the moderates a voice would be useful for public perception, and endear them to the old guard of the party on top of Wales providing some more experienced men to assist governance. But on the other hand, could you really ever trust your allies and not stab you in the back? It was an alliance of convenience, after all. Why would we need their help? Why would we need their help? We want more. I want to go with more despotism for this one. There you go. 
Less than 10%, or less than 15% would be good. Nope, we allow them elections, but we can't allow them everything. Hey, look, we're already getting closer. It's already 67, so... I'm going to assume England's going to attack relatively soonish. So, 20 days left. We got enough time. Cool. Keeping yourself dominant. The best solution to a problem is often the simplest of the one available. And in the matter of serving political power, the uh, applied comrie. Our fellow believers in the Welsh liberation and the National Revolution, the solution is one that will suit both parties very well indeed. Played, applied, well, their political influence, but we shall hold the lines, share the actual power. Influence is nothing without the loyalty of the army, which we hold without exception. We can, They can keep their cabinet positions and National Assembly seats. We are the ones in control here, and the Y Mob Darrell Gan is still unchallenged, as is his right. Long live Wales, and long live Julian Kyle Evans. There we go. More infantry anti tank. That's good. Let's get even the next level too. More heart attack and piercing, just in case. Maybe they're not going to attack us because they know how strong we are. <laughs> maybe we can keep believing that. Maybe. Ooh. Fill your capacity of fuel in about 1.2 years. Part if you have one or yeah, you only have one level fort there. Hmm. Alright. <clears throat> Bide Kamrin Gorosi. Perhaps the Lord stays in heaven for fear of what he has created. Wales was once a backwater of Europe and is the least of the Isles powers, controlled by Englishmen and traders unionists, beset by economic woes and always faced with an uphill battle and international arrangements. Now now Wales has changed and our army is bigger and better able to respond to threats. The Free Welsh Army is the unchallenged party of the nation. And the children are, for the first time in centuries, universally learning to speak Welsh, not just the oppressive language tongue of, the, of English. Julian Kyle Evans, the Y-Mob Darogan brought this about. L long may his rule continue. Well, it sounds like he... They keep talking about how long he's going to reign. Is he going to die soon? Why do they keep bringing it up? There we go. Very nice. Oh, look at that. Nice. 98.75. See, we allow other people to voice their dissent. Not that many people, but a little, few people. Happy March, and the order was failed. So be it. So be it. Can I, like, trade away the anti-air for, like, guns or something? Can I... Actually, can I request Lendlease from America? Or Germany or something? No. That's literally the only thing we could do is, like, negotiate licenses. Not very much, I would say. <clears throat> so I wonder what's after this. Because it's basically already been five years then. Hmm. There we go. <clears throat> Man, my voice is cracking and racking. English demands. Our letters are arrived in Cardiff from across the eastern borders from the English government, and they've demanded that we begin the unification process. This has not been an unexpected move yet. Is one that we would have would have rather avoided. The English army's ready to enforce their demands, therefore the government will have to think carefully before they make up their mind. Many have already accepted that the dream of an independent Welsh Republic is over, and they will soon walk into the new English reality. The decline would mean suicide, the government will have to do what's best for the people of Wales. I want to get to this one first. Wales will be free forever. So, uh, obviously I don't think we're going to actually do that well, but that's WA society. What is Wales? The land of miners, perhaps and maybe a pious people who have re rediscovered freedoms they once thought, thought forever? What is it that defines the land of mountains and valleys in the modern age? The outside world might say it is a unique language and culture of the state. The Celtic would, would say it is the longest subjugation or subjugated of the Brythonic peoples and was the last to be freed from tyranny. But if you ask the ordinary Welshman, you have a different and far more interesting answer. Whom was it that freed the, the Welsh from Union's tyranny? Twas the Wales, Free Wales Army. Who stood against England and all our cutting plans to force Wales into submission once more? The Free Wales Army. Who will you vote for in the National Assembly elections? The Free Wales Army. The party, movement, and militia become so synonymous with Wales that to mention the nation is to mention the party in the eyes of some. Wales is defined by nationalism in the same way the Reich is. And similarities are often sometimes noted by foreign observers. Whatever happens to Wales in the future will be the FWA, who are the heart of all of it. Long live the Free Wales Army. So, okay, so that actually ends us. So Dusk approaches a new, new order. Okay, cool. So this is pretty much it. Keep your eyes out for new content. We continue to update with bug fixes, patches, content updates, new nations, and eventually a massive update which will extend the game's timeline from until 82. Wow. And and a new starting date, too. Wow. That's kind of wild. So I'm going to assume it's like going to be 1972 or something like that. Awesome. And this is everyone else else. Thank you for playing. Well, we have no choice. We'll be free forever. And which we're probably going to get the, the gumption smacked out of us. And then maybe we'll try a little something off screen in which 
Oh, they actually started Border War, huh? Okay. At least we got six divisions when we had the time to do so. Oh, they're just smacking tons of people into here. Cool. And they could probably still beat us just because we, our soldiers just aren't that strong right now. We have an intel advantage, which is nice. But, well, guys aren't even 20 combat with. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I mean, I don't know why literally every single black market order failed. Literally every single one. I think, was it the last episode too, or is it just this episode? Because we're probably not going to be able to win here, which really sucks. Hmm. A big sadness. Actually, why are you a leader? Oh, let's increase that. Increase that too. That gives us slightly more defense, but at this point, our guys are looking so weak. Seriously, like, why does it always fail? I don't know. But maybe you guys know. Black market available? Uh huh, sure. It always fails. So why? If they're not interested in honoring their deals, we are not interested in dealing with them either. So it takes two months to try again. Alright. Well, that was that. Not sure why you were doing this. I wanted uh, this guy to do it because he's got more defense. Three, three, two, 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 two. Julian Kyle Evans. Max Entrenchment. Yeah, we're going to get this guy, George Taylor, though. He's better on defense. Hmm. Man, that really severely weakened us. Holy cow. Alright, so I'm a, I'm just assuming that England's going to attack again and do some other stuff. Probably. There they go. They went to war with us. I'll blaze once more. No, it is what it is. And they're navel invading us. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Yeah, there's not really much we can do here. So. And we've, we're here, but I will see you in just a little bit. Alright everyone, and so totally, as you can see on screen, we totally, legitly beat England. Totally, you know. This is all really the state of Wales territory, but Wales defeats England. The lights have truly gone out in Europe as Wales has managed to defeat the much larger, stronger England. And what many, many military leaders are shaking their heads and calling an absolute fluke in the universe that transcends any logic. Wales should have lost the war if any theoretical scenario believes the universe operates on a strict set of rules and equations by most accounts. And yet now they stand over the vanquished England. <clears throat> One should to think of the horrific, horrific fate for those who cower in fear as Welsh troops march up Whitehall. Uh, but others believe this is a cosmic justice for all the sins that the England has committed in the past and the occupation is merely their penance. Still, some believe Wales has made a deal with the supernatural malevolent forces and are calling for a crusade to be mounted against them as soon as possible. Tramp, 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 the boys are marching over England. So, uh, yeah, totally, totally did this legit. Totally did not use cons commands for this at all. Absolutely not. I would be taken aback if you said such a thing. But... I guess that's pretty much it. Wales only has five years of amount of um, content. And yeah, totally, totally didn't do any cons commands here to get another division in here. So, cool. I guess that's going to be it, though. Hope you enjoyed it. If you guys did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys later in a different episode today or tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Have a great Welsh rest of your day.